Sunday's MLS matchup sees Orlando City host DC United in an All Eastern Conference. Here now on the line to preview the match is sports writer Kevin Stott. Now, DC United are a clear seven points above second place in New England and are certainly the team to watch this year. But Orlando have the advantage of playing at home. Uh, would you say this is a tough match to predict a winner? Yeah, this is a real tough one because it's a, it's a game that both teams really cannot afford to lose at this particular point in uh, well, well, actually, D.C. United can't afford to lose it. It's much more important for Orlando City. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're just they're a brand-new team. They only have one win at home. So I'm, I'm leery on them just being able to beat the first-place team like that. And these odds actually surprised me for this game. Uh, that leads me to my next question. Taking a look at the winner's market, I am surprised to see Orlando City as the favorite there. Minus uh, 105 William Hill. Uh, the draw 250 uh, also with William Hill. And D.C. United... 400 with Coral. Considering Orlando haven't beaten DC United in their last three matches played, I like the upset in this match. Are you with me on this one? I'm not really totally on board with the upset, but I'm totally on board with the concept of perceiving value with the uh, road team here. I think if there is an up, it, well, uh, because if they made Orlando the favorite, the upset obviously would be DC United. But I'm with you. I would have made DC United a slight favorite in this yeah. game. They've, they're, they're in first place, Natalie. They've been in the league forever, right? Mm -hmm. They're one of the stalwarts of the league. They have confidence. They have a franchise. They have a city that backs them. Now, Orlando's doing great in terms of selling tickets, and they're going to build a new stadium. They're going to probably announce that this week. And they're doing great as a franchise, but you can't, as a gambler, ignore the fact that they have one win at home. Yeah. I mean, I mean, what, are you going to bet the draw? I mean, yeah, the draw might be interesting in this game. But, yeah, one thing I noticed here that, that I want to point out while you're uh, – talking about that is uh, to win to nil you can get dc united to win to nil at plus 700 which to me is just insane yeah. i think if you're a value player or a gambler that's something you throw 10 or if you're really rich 100 on because uh, dc united could definitely win one nothing they could win two nothing they like you said they've played them three times they've beat them every time so the honest is on uh the new team and uh, i don't understand the odds uh huh. Well, obviously, Orlando do have the advantage of playing at home. Looking back at their last matches played, um, they both they both score, but they do both concede. So I was thinking that we could be looking at both teams to score here, and that's minus one thirty three Labrooks. I'm with you on that one. I mean, the, the stats, back, the, the the trends back it up here. Four out of the last five DC United games have uh, seen both teams to score. Uh, the last three DC. United games have gone uh, over, but this is one of those things where uh, it's a collision between uh, science, the numbers, and art for me. And I just have a, tr a trouble just assuming this is going to go over, although I do think both teams score, and it does end up one-to-one -one is how I see it. I just, mm -hmm. I, uh, I, just uh, I would lean towards D.C. United if I had to pick a winner, but uh, that's the beauty about having all these uh, offshore and uh, European markets. You can bet draw, no bet. DC United plus 225 yeah. at Bet Victor. You can get a nail, you can get over two to one healthy price on the team that we think is the better team. And then if, they, if there's a tie, you get your money back. Yeah. So, and if they I, win, I like you that get, bet for this match. For I sure. do too. I think that's yeah. a, a smart, uh, sage old, old guys type bet if, if you. Uh, if, you're, if you want to be safe, and it's obviously you can put it in with a bunch of other bets. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, the other bets actually I do quite like that I'm definitely interested in and just putting a little bit of my money on is taking the DC United and both teams to score. What I really do like, and I think it's a real safe way to play the DC United draw no bet. Get your money back if it is a draw. I'm also thinking a couple of quid, DC United and both teams to score. Those are wonderful odds of plus 650 at Labrooks there. I think that's a nice little bet. Yeah, because it's at home. Orlando's scared to death. They've never beat him. They have Kaká. So they, they have, uh, he's had six goals. They have a guy that can score. And they're like, they're, I don't know if they're in fifth or sixth. They're, they're, they're doing decent, but they're so far back behind the first place team in the Eastern Conference that they really need to send a message and win here. Therefore, they're going to throw all, all hands on deck. They're going to do everything they can to win. But do they have enough to beat a veteran team? And I think... <laughs> they'll, they'll end up being unsatisfied, which means either a loss or a draw. I took the conservative side and gave them the benefit of the doubt and went with the draw. Mm -hmm. But uh, we could definitely see DC United win this. Yeah, and and I do, honestly, I do really like as well that the uh, DC United draw no bet. What's the best way, uh, Kevin, to play the match? 
Yeah, that's the best one, Natalie. The first one would be draw. The first, if I had to rank them in order for this particular game, which is a good one to do it, draw, no bet, DC United plus mm-hmm. 225. Yeah. Bet Ficker had the best price. I actually lean towards the under because of the art versus science thing here. Despite all the both teams to score and all the energy and the fact that there, there may be goals, I think both teams are going to be nervous, and both teams don't want to lose here, and they're going to both be a little bit tired. Minus a dollar two is the best I saw at Bed Victor, and then the uh, draw, just plus two fifty at mm-hmm. Bed Victor. Just take a shot on the draw. This could be zero zero. This could be one one, and if it doesn't go under, it could very well be two two. If it is, uh, do, does ev- uh, evolve into a shootout. So uh, draw plus two fifty. This is one of those games that uh, is good, but the best way to approach it is the draw. No bet, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Uh, That wraps up our preview here. If you'd like more information and to read Kevin Stott's article, uh, it is posted on sportsbookreview.com. You can find the link in the description below this video. Do be sure to check it out. Kevin, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Hey, thanks a lot, Natalie.